I'm going to be sharing with you how I improved my AR shot. It is the most important weapon in the game, in my opinion. I use it all the time, and you can absolutely wreck squads and solos, whatever the case may be, with this weapon. And I really just want to share my tips because I often see people making very easy mistakes that they can avoid. So let's hop into this guy. I want to start off by talking about the three different types of ARs. You have your regular AR, your burst AR, and then also you have the scoped AR. And also, I do kind of give a fourth class to the SCAR. It is just so strong, it doesn't really belong with the regular ARs. It's just so superior in all senses. So really, we're going to start off by talking about the regular AR. It's very common to find this, and honestly, it's not one of my most favorite ones to use anymore because its accuracy has decreased. They did nerf it a bit because you used to be able to absolutely beam with this weapon. And then there's the burst AR, which has really fallen into favor with a lot of big YouTubers. The biggest, of course, is Ninja. He absolutely loves the burst AR and will use it over the scar oftentimes. I don't really agree with that. My favorite is always going to be the scar. This thing just sounds great and it absolutely mercs other teams. And then the scoped AR is very beneficial for certain situations. I really don't use it that often because if I find a sniper, I'm going to choose that long range weapon over the scoped AR, but really that comes down to personal preference. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses and you need to start playing to your strengths. So I know some people say, you know, I'm just too inaccurate to use the burst. That's fine. Do not use it then. Throw it out. Always try to pick up a regular AR. And then some people don't like the scope because you do. If you're not hitting the head, you're not doing that much damage. You're really just chipping away at them and other people don't like that. And also it's not viable at all in close range situations if that's all you really have so that's why you got to start figuring out what type of game do I play do I find myself getting in more close range gunfights or do I find myself getting in more long range gunfights and then really pick your inventory and your ARs from there when it comes to how I choose my ARs, I run a very simple system when it comes to the burst, regular, or the scar. I always just pick the one that has the best rarity. So if I get a blue burst, I'm not going to take a green regular AR just because I feel more comfortable with the green regular AR. I'm going to take the burst because the blue burst does more damage and can be absolutely lethal if you use it right. I always just want to get the most damage for each bullet I am dealing, and that's how I base my AR decisions. Now that may not be right for you, if you are starting out and you struggle with one or the other, then I definitely wouldn't go with that policy. And then of course, like I said, I always pick up the scoped AR if I don't already have a long range weapon like a sniper. But right when I get a sniper, I immediately drop the scoped AR just because I like dealing more damage with the snipe whenever I drill a headshot. The moral of the inventory story is that you need to use whatever you are strongest with. Unless you are comfortable with everything, then always just try to pick up the highest damage that you can, so the best rarity, and that will end up treating you very well at the end of the game. When it comes to where I keep my AR in the inventory, I always keep it in the first slot because it's my favorite weapon. I throw the shotgun in the second slot so then if I do get into a shotgun battle and maybe I run out of ammo, maybe I'm fighting that many people, I can instantly switch to the AR and deal enough damage to get the job done. And then also I love having that sniper in the fifth slot so then you can switch from the snipe to the AR if you need to polish someone off. This is a good practice and it's going to allow you to deal a lot more damage very quickly. Now the simple the simplest mistake I see people make when they use the AR is they don't know when to hold down the trigger and when to tap the trigger. So I'm going to talk about the different situations here. The first one being, if someone is building walls, of course you should just hold down the trigger. Get as many bullets off as you can to tear down those walls. It is great to continue to apply pressure and it really depends on how much ammo you have. But then when it comes to shooting people and trying to be precise, you need to tap the trigger and you will see it throughout this video. You never see me spamming and I will show examples where I hold down the trigger just trying to do one more bullet and it seems like it is painting a circle around the guy I am trying to hit. It just does not work. You need to not spam. You need to just tap the trigger at a good clip and you will start being way more accurate. 
I had to talk about not spamming on the trigger, not just holding it down first because one of the biggest things you can do to make shots easier on yourself is crouching whenever you go into gunfights. It is so much easier because it makes your cursor smaller so then your area that you are spraying these bullets is much tinier. Then if you add in tapping on the trigger and crouching, it's just going to be a great combination of the bullets actually hitting where you expect them to go rather than them flying all around and not hitting anything. I know it's so frustrating when you feel like your AR should be hitting somebody and it's not. Well, you have to apply these tips if you really want to start making contact consistently and that's when you're going to find you are melting people much quicker and hitting a lot more headshots. One thing I almost forgot to mention is please, when you are crouching, make sure it's in the right situations. If you are following people and you want to knock someone very quickly, then it is great because they aren't looking at you. Crouch, let the cursor get small, and then drill shots. You can immediately knock someone on a team or eliminate someone right away without them even being able to turn around. I really don't want you crouching and standing still whenever three or four people are shooting at you and you're not moving. So you are a sitting duck and they are going to drill you. That is why it is so important to build, get higher on structures, and then it helps with the crouch because you can immediately dip back behind something. You really need to use height to your advantage. It's much easier to shoot down at people, and also you can use it to your advantage of staying on the right side so less of your body is peeking out. I think this is going to be just very helpful for you guys if you understand which situations to crouch and which ones you actually may need to stand so you can get out of harm's way. Another really beneficial AR tip is to not always stay zoomed in. I see so many people make the mistake of trying to follow someone while they are running away or zigzagging. If you scope out and back in and you are on console, you are going to have the benefit of auto aim and you need to take advantage of that. Don't just sit zoom down sights. You are not going to help yourself and you may never catch up to the person running away. If you zoom out and back in, auto aim is going to pick them up and you're going to find yourself hitting a lot more bullets. So I really recommend you start practicing that. It is great to get under your belt and start using more often. A tip that goes along with taking advantage of auto aim is also practice shooting before you even get scoped in. So what I'm talking about is if you are running towards the zone, you expect your next fight to be mid to long range and someone jumps out of a bush or a building and stuns you and they are right on top of you and you don't have time to switch to a shotgun. So you try to shoot with your AR. If you can hit one of those first few shots with the no scope before you even zoom in and take advantage of auto aim, that could end up being the difference between you winning the fight or being knocked out of the game. So that's what I really recommend guys. If you can do damage where you just are not scoped in and you're able to make contact or if someone surprises you and you just need to hit them with one more bullet, maybe you run out of shotgun shells, this is really going to help you in the long term and I really recommend you practice this. I wasn't going to mention this, but I want to make sure that you all understand that you should always be trying to drill headshots unless someone is one shot and you know all it takes is just to pepper them with one bullet and they will be done. But headshots are absolutely key in winning more gunfights. You are going to melt an enemy so fast, especially if you have a legendary scar. It's going to do 72 damage per bullet and it's just going to take away someone with full shield in seconds if you can hit multiple headshots. So I always recommend that. That's what I aim for in every fight is I I tap and I try to drill them in the head and also if you want to be safe just aim a bit lower and aim for the chest area but you're going to be surprised how quickly you are slicing through people. That wraps up my AR guide. If I left anything out, please leave it in the comments below and also comment what guide you would like to see next. I absolutely love doing these and appreciate all your suggestions. Thank you very much to everyone that has been sharing videos. And if you aren't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you all helping us grow the community and we couldn't have gotten to 46,000 subscribers without you all. We just wanted to let you know, we appreciate you. This is Girl, you got me shook from the way your body looks Got me riding hooks, got me feeling like a rook I don't do it by the book, but for you I'll take a look Don't know what your mama took, sweet and spicy like a cook, yeah I'll keep it real, let's make a deal Buy you a meal if you just let me feel Get out your heels, grab on the wheel Back to my place at the top of the hill Don't ever Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what you need to do right now The top 5 tips you should be doing now in Playground In order to get more victory victory royales and become a better player at Fortnite. so guys these tips and tricks are going to be the best tips and tricks i could possibly give on the channel just because playground has improved my skill by a lot you guys i promise you listen to this video watch it and actually soak in this information because 
this information is very crucial if you want to become a better player so things you need to practice i'm going to start off with build battles so you guys want to get better at building in the game so of course the best way to handle build battles is to 1v1 a teammate now right now i have no teammates which sucks so usually what i do if i'm alone is i'll just practice things like this and i'll just practice as if i'm build battling someone and i'm trying to get high ground or something like that and then once i do get high ground i just practice you just want to constantly be practicing even if it's on your own because playground gives you 999 mats and literally two trees so it's very easy and you can practice just like this right here you guys so as you guys can see i'm just practicing i'm just building up i'm trying to see pretend that i'm trying to get as high as i can as quick as i can and now i'm just working on getting down as quick as i can just because you're practicing random things in, in playgrounds now if you have a teammate i'll show you guys the best tactic whenever you have a teammate now this is why you want to do playgrounds because look at how quick it is for me to get 999 wood i can respawn in if i die and everything is good to go so if i fall from that height there's no worries because i'm automatically going to spawn in a lot of you guys already know this a lot of you guys love playground and this is why i love it in in my opinion now if you're doing if you have a teammate here the best thing to do is this and this and then have you yourself stand on this one right here and have your friend stand on this one right here now what you're going to do is say when the timer hits a certain time like 20 55 that's when the fight starts so right now it's 55 so you start once you go three up this is when the fight starts so they have to go three up the opposite direction of you so they're going this way and you're going that way and then the fight starts you can literally turn if you want and start shooting you can you can build but i suggest building trying to build as high as you can and get above the other person because it's practicing you're you're practicing your ability you're practicing your skill now i know a lot of people when they play playground a lot of people make a mistake and they just try to get a victory royale they just try to win basically what i mean by that is for instance say we, we have a build off and i'm going up this way and i'm all the way i'm all the way up here to the very top like i'm as high as i could possibly i have high ground on the other person and now i'm looking down trying to see if i could find the other person like this and i'm trying to find them so say for instance i'm doing that and the other person's like oh let me just get a free victory royale so what they're gonna do is they're gonna come three up and they just cancel that shoot me down and then it's, they're just going to win from fall damage. That's not what you want to do. You guys aren't playing to try and get a victory royale or beat your friend or anything like that. You're practicing to get better together. So you're just literally building. You can fight each other with shotguns and stuff like that. You can try and shoot each other and kill each other. It helps out a lot. But my, my suggestion is not to just shoot each other down because that does no practice. You're not getting any better doing that. Actually have a build off. If you lose high ground, it's okay. Try to fight for it. Because if you lose, it's okay because you're learning. You're learning, hey, I can't do this in a build fight to regain high high ground i have to do a different thing and you're just trying out new things that you see other streamers and youtubers do so it's making you a better player guys yes i do promise it is going to work it helps out a lot that's actually what i've been doing lately and it made me a lot better of a player at this game now the next tip that i want to show you guys is pyramids so basically if you don't know pyramids this is the next big thing once you get trapped in a pyramid um the other person usually has to like cancel their route or go a different route or something like that so my suggestion to you guys is when you're in playgrounds practice pyramids again when you're with a friend just have a build off whenever you're build off with somebody else and uh you make make this turn right here wait for them to get above you because the second they get above you is, let's say for instance this is them right here S second they get above you like that say they put two above you just jump and pyramid them and then you can change your route and you can go a different direction and then try to do that so that's how you practice pyramids right there is by baiting them out let them get above you once they're above you you just put a pyramid over the head and like i said if you do that pyramid scheme or not scheme but pyramid trick they're going to end up getting caught and have to change their direction or route or something like that. So guys, again, that is probably the best thing to do. Now, if you are playing alone and you have no friend to do, guys, again, I do this all the time. It's not that you're a loser. You just would rather get better while your other friends are playing squads or something like that. You want to stay in playground and practice. So a thing you can do on solo is just this, just this right here. Just constantly constantly do this where you're putting a pyramid above your head and you're editing through it now the reason you're doing this is so that way you can get used to putting a pyramid above you so that way if someone's above you it helps you out a lot now now there's many reasons why you're going to be doing this in a build fight now you're not really looking for it it's just natural it's just good to have different like uh techniques in your like in your mindset in your, and like in your fingers and stuff like that memorizing the different techniques is always good because you never know when you're going to use it 
and I just kill myself. For instances, if you guys want to know what pyramids are good for in the game, uh, my, my good friend Gamer Couple, they actually made a video covering the top five tips on pyramids and why they're used and why you should be doing them. So guys, if you can, go check out their video. I left a link down in the description below. It is an awesome video. It gives you guys the best pyramid tips and tricks if you have no clue what those pyramids are used for. But practicing them in playground is the best thing that you want to do. Now moving on to tip number three is edits. Now the next thing you want to work on is practicing edits. Now I know on console it is a little bit harder but it can be done guys. I promise you doing stuff quick can be done on console. It's just it just takes time. It just takes practice and you guys really got to learn how to do it. I know it can be a little bit harder because you got to wait for the circle button to be loaded but you can practice it and it does help out. Now, now one one thing uh, again 1v1 build fights and anytime you're editing is always good so say you get above the person and you put your stairs and they're below you like this all you got to do is edit shoot them jump back up put your stairs edit shoot them jump back up put your stairs and stuff like that you can practice that in a 1v1 if, you, if your friend is not here and you're playing alone again this is perfectly fine I've done this many times where I've just sat in playground for two three hours alone learning different techniques and stuff like that uh, another thing you can practice is building like these little one by ones and then pretending that there's other people all around the map so say we're for instance we're in this one by one there's somebody at blue house i can literally sit here like this and shoot at them but say i don't want to peek at this angle and i want a third person peek a little bit better i can sit here rotate the stairs and peek like this like rotate the stairs act like someone's over there peek over there rotate the stairs and peek over this way you can you can just keep constantly rotating your stairs practicing how to catch it because you have to catch the middle one and flip it directly the right way in order to rotate so practicing is always good um you just want to sit here again this is what i did i just it, it is a lot of imagination you got to pretend someone's over there you can peek take some shots crash back down peek take some shots crash back down rotate your stairs just practice doing this stuff right here you guys and i promise you it does work it does make you a better player um if you do not like doing the stairs another easy thing that you can actually do surprising or not it's pyramids you guys you can practice these pyramids it's a little bit harder but it does work you can make it back a pyramid and change the stairs now you could all do it in one by easily editing reset click the two sides and it flips the stairs for you now again this is a little bit more difficult but the second you get the hang of it it is actually pretty quick you can actually do it very quick and the faster you go the more you practice the better you'll be you guys so keep practicing these stuff you guys i promise you it's going to make you a better player that's how you practice edits you can also do something like this for instance say we're in a one by one and there's people in other places you can practice somebody's over here at this house over there so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and edit this take some shots crouch down edit it back up say someone's behind you edit this open up this wall take some shots crouch back down close that up and just keep rotating guys don't mind my dogs they're just playing with each other right now anytime you do that you just want to practice editing your walls peek up shoot at llamas crouch back down edit the wall back down and you're just practicing stuff like this because it will make you a better player you guys i promise you that it just takes practice, man. I'm literally sitting here practicing as I teach you guys this stuff because I'm not the best in the world at it. But again, the more I practice, the better. I can I can feel myself get better when I get into an actual lobby. Like right now, I, I don't know if I'm getting any better. It just feels normal. But once I get into an actual lobby and I start running into people and actually getting into fights, you're going to notice the difference. You're going to notice like, holy crap, I did get better at the game. Just one, spend one hour a day in playground by yourself practicing these things. Have a different exercise. Like, okay, I'm going to spend doing this for 20 minutes of the hour and I'm just going to practice this constantly, nonstop, 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 nonstop. Now, now it does get boring but it does help you practice things you guys you want to practice if you want to practice editing run down jump and edit your stairs to break them like that it does help with editing and stuff like that so that way you're constantly constantly doing something it's like basketball guys if you want to be good at basketball you have basketball practice football practice you have all these practices to get better at something you can't just naturally get better at it you got to practice so again practice makes perfect i want you guys to actually go into playground try these things out for just an hour a day let me know by the end of a week how you're doing did you become a better player console players pc players it doesn't matter where you are if you're trying new keybinds go ahead and do it on p in playground you could get a lot better if you're just practicing on console and you want to learn how to edit quicker go ahead and do it in playground now again you're not going to be dying all the time and it is a lot better guys with that being said I'll see you guys in the next video peace